Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakewithjack.co.uk. And if you really want your homemade bread dough to fulfill its destiny, you really should be baking with steam. Roll that thing tune. Hello to you and welcome back to the Bake With Jack YouTube channel where I make videos to help you make bread and baking bread with steam really is a must. It's the condensation on the outside of your bread dough combined with high heat that makes crusty breads crusty. And it's the humid environment combined with a low heat that keeps the soft bread soft. Isn't that mad? Whatever you are baking, steam keeps the outside of the bread softer for longer, allowing it to rise to its full potential before the crust sets and stalls the puff. It brings amazing, vibrant golden color over a dull brown hue. It's one of the contributing factors to avoid the classic sourdough blowout, among many other things. Here's two ways I get steam into my oven when I'm baking bread. This is the method that I use the most. I have a deep roasting tray on the floor of my oven while it preheats, making it nice and hot. When I'm ready to bake, I boil half a kettle of water, load up all my bread dough, carefully pour that hot water into the deep tray beneath and shut the oven door. The most important thing for me here is the sizzle factor. When you pour that boiling water into the hot tray beneath, you'll get a massive sizzle as the water all bubbles up. Then the water will take the heat out of the tray, the sizzle will subside, and you'll just be left with flat water again. I don't shoot for a specific amount of water in the tray or a certain depth in there. Instead, I try and get as much water in the tray as possible and shut the door before the sizzle subsides to catch as much of that initial burst of steam as possible. Sometimes on my travels I've come across ovens where the base isn't that hot. The tray never gets that hot and so when you put the water in, the sizzle is often underwhelming or not present at all. In those scenarios I have one or two spray guns like this to hand and as I load the bread into the oven, I'll have a good old spray as much as possible all around it before I shut the oven door. In terms of how much, there's always a point when you're spraying in where I feel like more steam is coming out than is going in. When I get to that point, when I feel like that's the case, I'll shut the oven door to keep as much of it in as possible while also being conscious not to keep the oven door open for too long and lose all that initial heat. This method is also good if you're doing multiple loads of bread because when you do it in a tray you put the water in the first time round and the second time round there might still be water in there or it won't reach the nice heat in order to get the sizzle back in time. Spritzing with a spray gun every time you load your bread dough in keeps things a little bit more consistent. Most home ovens are really efficient at getting the steam out which is isn't very helpful for us home bread bakers. If your oven does have trouble, you've heard me say it before, double up the trays and use two trays of water, double up the steam, because you might as well if you've got space in the oven for two. These are two ways that I use to get steam into my oven and there are loads of different ways, including using a Dutch oven to completely negate the use of steam uh, entirely when baking a sourdough loaf, for example, but hey, I digress. If you've got a special way of doing it that works for you and we haven't touched on today, pop it in the comments below so we can all benefit from it. If you like this video, please click like, click subscribe if you wanna stick around for another one. And as always, thank you for your kind donations. Thanks for buying your bits and bobs from the Bakery Jack online shop. Thanks for being here. See you soon. Bye-bye.